What's up boys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm on 2K22 and I'm going to be playing the WNBA My Career until I have fun. I tried making this video a couple weeks ago, but 2K had a fun little glitch where I could only play 17 games and then I couldn't advance any further. So that's why I got a burly blue afro lady already made. I'm going to switch up her appearance and play style so I don't run into the glitch. But we're going to keep the name Glory Holcomb. That's a family name. It means a lot to me. She's going to be a 6 foot 10 paint beast with a 7 5 wingspan. My driving dunk potential is 38, so we're probably going to be dunking from the free throw line at the end of this and if you can't tell this is my face cam that's on this character i don't want the ladies falling in love with me on the court so we're gonna have to change this up a bit we're gonna take off the hair take off the eyebrows and in some parallel universe out there this is extremely racist but in the one we're in right now this is applauded so i think glory hole comes set and ready to go her head looks like a whopper she can pull off the bald look but maybe you can't so let me tell you about keeps keeps is an online subscription service that makes it easy and affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness did you know that two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the age of 35? Well, now you do. So let that fact linger in your mind for a bit. But thankfully, we have Keeps to help prevent this issue. Keeps will connect you to a licensed doctor to review your info and recommend the right hair loss treatment for you. Then your treatment will be shipped directly to your door every three months. But the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. Because the sooner you start Keeps, the more hair you can save. Keeps treatment typically takes between four to six months to start seeing results. Go with Keeps and get the FDA approved doctor recommended plan that's right for you without ever leaving your couch. It's affordable and easy to use. And don't just take my word for it. Feel free to read up on the thousands of five-star reviews left by verified buyers. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash frosty or click the link in the description to receive 50% off of your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash frosty. In my first game, I get my first bucket off a drop step, which is wide open. And this is a good thing about being six foot ten in the WNBA is that most people aren't six foot ten or even close to that. So every shot I take is either open or wide open because I could just shoot right over them. I was running the pick and roll with Candace Parker. This is a big reason of why I joined this team because I know she's some big old bitch that can set some screens for me and hopefully I'm gonna get some dunks for myself later on. But most of the game was pretty boring. I'm a 75 overall, so I was just doing post hooks and drop steps. But we get a wide open break here. I call for the alley oop, and this is just elite ball placement coming from one of my point guards i'm on the right side of the rim and she ends up throwing it all the way to the left like there's only a couple people on the planet that can actually finish that on a dunk and i get one more wide open dunk opportunity and i'm not even close in my second game i'm now an 82 overall i must get my vertical from my face although i was able to block a lady without even jumping it's about ready to turn this court into an applebee's with this lady i got another wide open dunk attempt and nothing in my next game against the liberty i got my ankles broken on probably the weakest move possible it's not even really a crossover she just was dribbling with her right hand and took it over with her left there was no momentum into that i caught an alley-oop in traffic but why throw it into where i'm wanting it when you could throw it three feet in the wrong direction and make it much harder for me then the one time i actually get an alley-oop pass that was accurate i catch it with my head Glory! In my game against LA, they've got me mashed up against some big old lady. First play, my point guard runs into her and turns the ball over. In her defense, she just ran into some made-up player that is the size of Khalil Mack or Pearl from SpongeBob. And if she hits a buffet in the offseason. I did get my first goaltending call in this game, which is an accomplishment in itself, because that means I got my hand above the rim and while it was on the way down. And there's a scramble for a loose ball here and here i just show off how slow i am this was a real problem when it came to me getting dunks because even queen latifah was able to beat me back got another good fast break i'm gonna call for the alley-oop and it's four feet behind my head and i got perfect timing on this alley-oop but again we are just wanting to throw it to the wrong side of the rim i i don't get it i thought women were supposed to be better at fundamentals and passing and things like that I I guess they don't have alley-oop badges, but what the fuck? It was so much easier last year. And I picked this team because we have good point guards. We got an 88 overall, an 86 overall, and we got Candace Parker to set screens. I've even been playing on rookie mode, and I still just can't do basic things in basketball. So in my next game against the LA Suns, again, because the WNBA doesn't have very good funding and they like to save on travel costs, so they just make them play back-to-back -back games all the time, I just decided I'm not going to play defense. I'm just going to cherry-pick the whole entire game. And by this game, I'm an 80 
87 overall. I don't think I'm able to dunk unless I have takeover activated. You're going to see it still wasn't possible for me. And yet I'm catching the ball with my hand well above the rim. I've also got glue hands. If you guys didn't know, that helps a lot with cherry picking. And on this play, I think the game's just fucking with me. I've got my hand a good foot above the rim, yet we're still just doing post hooks, drop step layups. But I ended up with 63 points in the first half and 100 points total and not one dunk. Just a bunch of layups and me wasting my time. Against the Suns, I caught a clean little alley-oop in traffic. Again, it wasn't even close to being dunkable. I stole a ball with my head, but surprise, it led to a layup. Glory! And Phoenix does have Brittany Griner. She's dunked it multiple times. So I was just trying to get her some dunks in. You know, if I can't dunk, I might as well try to make her do something. Seems like we both have the same issues. I'm now an 89 overall and I'm still not able to equip dunk animations. For some reason, I can equip Ben Simmons layup style in the WNBA. I don't know if this is some Easter egg joke, but I like it. Decided to watch some of the animations where I'm hanging onto the rim just to give me some hope. Just making sure my lady doesn't have some mental fear of touching the rim. I also equipped one of the ugliest shots in the game. I believe it's Kevin Duck worth and then my free throw is a classic rick berry granny style i blocked number 25 here with my knee or my crotch i don't know this is just sad probably the closest any balls have been near that region in a while number zero is pulling off a little james harden i didn't even touch her i closed out i went by her and then she sees she misses and just falls seems a little dramatic but we are in the women's league and this would have been such a clean play to get an alley-oop on i have my takeover on so i'm capable of dunking yet it's just another gosh damn layup but we just upgraded to a 91 overall and we still can't equip dunk animations as a 91 overall 610 75 wingspan lady we can't dunk but we can salsa because that seems to be more relevant in this situation and this play what the hell i oh this is the highest i got in the entire video my hand is above the square my head is near the rim and what are we gonna do lay it up i think we got two options here we lower the rim in the WNBA, or we take away women's right to vote. I did unlock team takeover though, so this is supposed to make it easier for me to throw alley-oops to myself. But on the very first play that I'm not controlling my player, on the pick and roll, instead of rolling to the basket, as soon as I throw the alley-oop, McGlory Holcomb just runs behind the point guard. And this lady has got a cannon for an arm. I don't know why she's in the WNBA. She'd make Sarah Fuller look like well, Sarah Fuller, but she would actually have a chance. I mean, look at this. That's probably the most impressive thing any of my teammates have done in this whole entire video. I mean, the bar is extremely low, still a turnover, but wow. And I'm about 10 plus hours in at this point. I'm getting extremely bored. I'm running into the crowd and I like how I'm a little dainty here, but if you go to the other side and get full speed, you can just crowd dive, just cherry picking some threes and then just gonna... Fuck! Okay. And I looked at my salary and this is just depressing. I'm doing this for $77,000 a year. I mean, I'm making less than the average real estate agent or physical therapist, and I'm living in Chicago. I mean, I better be doing some side work, whether that's cleaning dishes, selling my body or selling dime bags. Uh, the opportunities are endless in Chicago. But after another very uneventful and boring game against the New York Liberty, I am now a 95 overall, which means I am capable of dunking without takeover equipped. And I unlock three dunk styles, which are just insane. Yeah. I even got in the gym for a little practice just to see if I can actually dunk. I can, not very well. I mean, I only landed a dunk probably 25% of the time that I was trying to, and I'm wide open. But my first WNBA dunk, you might want to sit down for this. This is going to be pretty exciting. I was off cherry picking, and my teammate hit me up court, and I did a flat-footed, off two feet, one-hand dunk. I think I got up a good 24 inches there. That was crazy. And that's going to be everywhere on social media due to the fact that the WNBA manipulates any actual page that we follow to post anything worthwhile and if they don't they're canceled and even though now that we have established that i can dunk on the alley-oops i'm still doing layups even when i get it on perfect timing we're just gonna do a little layup we don't want everybody to get excited in here you know the WNBA is really just playing chess and we're all playing checkers they don't want all the seats in the arena to be filled up they like a little bit of social distancing because they're still worried about all that and watch out for this play a put back dunk done by my opponents. Number zero misses per usual, and number nine comes flying in, hits it on the bottom of the rim. Wow. But against Seattle, I got my second dunk of my career, and the crowd goes mild. Not one reaction in the stands. Nobody cares. This is not what they're here to see. They're here to see some fundamentals and miss layups. Wide open alley-oop attempt, and I jump like five seconds way too early, and my pass is way off from where it should be. <sighs> 
I'm gonna kill myself. But this play right here is actually pretty impressive. I have Candace Parker come up and set a screen and then somebody off Seattle is also setting a screen for me, I guess. Um, Wakanda forever. And she ends up falling, but I end up cockback dunking a little bit with the left hand. Actually got some hang time on that. I gave all 200 fans here something to see, something to be excited about. And in the last game of this video, because it's been about 15 hours or so playing this game straight, I'm a 99 overall. I still can't catch an alley-oop dunk even though I'm greening it. This lady who's Kelsey Plum, I'm pretty sure she was rookie of the year, can't even stay in bounds. It's an embarrassment to be here. I think I've got an idea to make this a little bit more fun, a little bit more entertaining for you and me. Okay, we're just gonna uninstall that. Gonna go to YouTube and uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, this is a lot more fun. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I sure didn't. Make sure to join my Discord, um, hit some of those buttons down below if you feel like it. The WNBA should seriously consider lowering the rim to nine feet. Six inches is enough, hentai is an art, the WNBA is a joke. I love you and I will see you in the next one.